Hello everyone, this is Anne from Odulcina Scrap. Back today with that needle book that will contain those, uh, those items if I can, but especially the scissors because when I need my needles, I need my scissors. So I wanted the, a little needle book that would contain, that would contain the scissors. I want to place the scissors because I've put the, the paper bags there. It's more rigid. So I want to put the scissors something like here at the back. This way I can manipulate the pages and there's less chances that the scissors moves around or wants to fall. So first, these scissors are really, really pointy, so I don't want them to go through whatever I put there because what I'm thinking is we could use like a belly band that we did in advance. I could use a little snippet that I've done with embroidery and it just goes in so it doesn't fall in there. There's another way here to attach it. Let's say we, we take a little piece of lace like that that it's gonna be attached with a button uh, here to hold this piece. Or even we can go, if we really want to secure the scissors, we can put it like that so it holds well. I didn't want to do a bow because I hate to do my bows all the time. But that could be a bow that, that holds the scissors there. So I think I'm going to go with a piece of lace and I wanted to use that snippet because I have a lot and I don't want to work for nothing if I already have something. The only thing is that there's no finishing here um, and this is fabric and those scissors will likely jam into the laces. So I thought... I could use some plastic to kind of put the scissors, that pointy part of it, inside the corner of a plastic and hide the plastic with my snippet so everything is really secure and we don't see. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to trim. I don't need it to be too big because my snippet is not that big. But if I look at that, I can maybe cut the sides like that because I don't need that much of the sides. And if I go something like that, the scissors would... Okay, this was kind of stick together. So the scissors would go in that corner, which is really rigid and it won't go through easily and this little snippet or any piece of fabric would hide it so maybe a bigger one would be better but this seems okay to me so i'm gonna start with that i'm gonna make the corners round like that anyway we won't see them but and I'm gonna glue it to the fabric here I'm gonna use the fabric tag to do that but if it doesn't seems to hold well with time I'm gonna replace it by the odd glue that's what I'm thinking I have hopes that maybe the Fabri-Tac with time holds better than hot glue, but on that I'm really not sure. Anyway, whatever happens, I can fix it later. If I see that the glue doesn't hold well, I just re-glue with something else with time. Okay. 
Now I'm gonna use the Fabri-Tac glue again to glue that on and I'm gonna, yeah, I'm just gonna use glue actually. I could do hand stitches too. I could really, but I'm getting lazy today. So in order to not be too messy, I'm gonna put the glue right here and then on the sides like that. And then I'm gonna add more if needed on the sides. Okay, these little flowers like that and it's gonna be something like that what I like about this plastic corner is that it already kind of opens up so that should be easy to to put the scissors in but I need to wait for it to dry now Okay, so it seems like it glued really well. It's, uh, it's solid. This is how it's gonna work. I just put my scissors there. They cannot go further than that. And it's a plastic, so they don't scratch things. Now I just need to make something that hold them so they don't fall like that. And I thought I could use a lace so I looked at my wall and I wanted something white because I tried with like a beige or coffee stained and it's it's so all soft and white that I need it needs to go with white so I thought I could use this one and I'm gonna sew it here and now I could either put like a velcro or I thought I could put a button. So this, this is kind of my stash of buttons. And I'm thinking, you know, those that are a little bit like that. There's kind of a round and there's a, a, there's a way to attach it like that. That should work fine. I don't know the name in English, but... Let's say if I pull that kind, right? I'm gonna pull a couple of choices so I can visualize which one can be the best for me. That could be around like that too. Oh, this one is interesting too. All right, okay, Th that's enough choices. Maybe that kind of fake pearl. So let's see. If I cut that, I'm going to first start with sewing it there so I can really see and try my button. And um, okay, so I'm going to do some slow stitching about here. Just to fix that or um, robust. All right. So I like the fact that I have some uh, fabric here. It's really easy to to do the sewing through just one layer. And it's going to be really, like, it won't tear apart easily. I'll just test it, and it seems like it's really okay so I'm gonna do come back actually in the middle and 
and hide. I'm gonna hide my uh, my knot. There we go. I'm gonna do two knots just to make sure it never get loose because this is holding the scissors. All right, this looks good. Okay, so let me do a close up so you can see we don't really see the stitches, but it's, it's really strong. So if I put my scissors there, I can maybe if I'm traveling with it, I might be doing that to make sure that see if I hold that the scissors are not cannot really fall fall off and I cannot lose them but if I'm just at home I can just hold them like that to move around I guess I could even do that if I'm traveling Oh yeah, if I do that while traveling, it's way better. It, it does, doesn't move at all. So I'll make sure that I can do that when I fix my button. And I see here, I have a hole. The hole is not big enough, but if I cut this, that will be the hole for my button. So now let me just see if the button fits. It needs to, I need to be able to go through, but that there's not too much of loose, but it won't get out as well. This one I like, it's a bit bitter, bigger, and it's still pretty easy to go through, but then it would, it would be really hard for it to detach by itself. So I think I'm gonna go with this one because those are all similar and I love this little like creamy, creamy pearl. All right, so if I look at that, my button needs to go somewhere here. So maybe I can use a pen and just do a little dot. We won't see it at the end. So I'm gonna sew my button on that dot. In order to sew the, to sew the button, I have a knot here at the end of my thread, but I'm gonna go between the two threads to kind of secure it. Then maybe I can uh, cut the excess so it doesn't show through, but that should be okay. Okay, my button is there. And then I'll just go. I'm right-ended, so it might be upside down for you. <laughs> but I'm trying to help myself. I'm going to go through four or five times. Okay, so I think it's enough. Yeah, it seems like it's enough. So I'm gonna lock this down. But before locking it, I can see that the fabric pulls. I can see that the tension of the fabric, it's kind of loose. So I'm gonna do one that grabs the paper. I'll go up to I'll go up to the other side because it won't show. I'll just do 
a small little stitch outside on the other side. Oh. On the other side, and I can't pass through. This is where you use that little tool. It helps you to push through without, without pain. <laughs> all right, so see, this doesn't show at all. And at least we've been through. Now there's one, one of the thread that kept kind of a loop. So you just need, if it happens to you, you just need to pull on both. It's one or the other. It seems like it's this one. All right. So now if I do the same, it's pulling a little bit less, although I didn't lock it. So now I'm going to lock that. I'm going to go through one more time just to lock it down correctly. Okay, and now I'm gonna do two times a little knot by going in the middle of my thread. Just need to be careful here. And another time. There you go. Okay, it's time to test. So, I have the little button there and it holds really well. I can put the scissors in and I can tread my scissors. <laughs> and it goes like that. Isn't it cute? It is cute and it's, it's not falling anywhere. And if I'm in a hurry or I'm just leaving it on the table and I'm not really traveling, I'm not really traveling or going around, I can just do that. Yeah, I could use this one if I open it. I'm going to do that. I'm going to open this one too. So I have both choices. It's a little bit better. But definitely, if I want to bring it with me, I would do one or two loops inside. Like that. So I think here I can maybe put a little decorations and I have some charms metal charms of scissors so if I do something here with adding more laces and a little scissors charm that would indicate that it's the spot for scissors or maybe attach the scissors here I'm gonna see so I'm gonna figure out something and I'll come back I decided to put the little scissors charm at the bottom of the page it, it just looked at its place there. And now for the top, I have three flowers in a row, but it was kind of missing something. So I went for a little number on a fabric label. So I just trimmed it 
we don't really see it well in this video but in real it's there's a little number there it makes a it makes a little decoration for sure so i'm gonna glue that with fabri tac just because i'm lazy <laughs> And uh, I could have done some uh, end stitching or slow stitching, but uh, there there's quite a lot in that uh, needle book, so I think it's it's okay to to use fabric tack too. So this will end this video. It's a short one this week. I just find it's uh, it's a little, it's a lot every week to produce one of those videos for the embroidery, but I love it because I realized with time that I have a real passion for lace, embroidery, fabric, that, that kind of projects that I do every for every Sunday morning. So I want to keep that because it kind of forces me to move on and do something. Um, there's lots of things that, that are in my Pinterest <laughs> for many years. So I go through and I'm like, okay, I should do this and I show, I should show this. And yeah, so I want to keep that, but maybe they're going to be a little bit shorter. So even for you, if you want to follow me, that's going to be easier. So, um, I'll keep going on, I think next week or maybe a new project. I'll see. But uh, have a great week and uh, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.